Hey you guys, so my spring break was this past week and I turned it into kind of a thrift shopping adventure and I thought that I would show you some of the things I picked up. I'll start with glassware, sort of. Um, I picked up this old kind of gross bottle with this white residue and this really rusty cap. I just thought that it would look cool on a shelf, like a tchotchke kind of thing. Uh, it was 50 cents. I picked up this rose patterned cup and matching saucer for a dollar from Goodwill and I've been burning candles in it. I just like the way like the soft glow of the light through the china. Uh, the next thing I picked up is definitely not glassware. Uh, I collect dead things so when I found this little like goat deer skull antlers for four dollars I just couldn't pass it up. I think that it will also look neat on a shelf with the rest of my dead things. There's a lot of books in this haul, so I'll get that out of the way. I was initially attracted to this book because it's a pretty blue color, and then I saw that it, would, that it was Gone with the Wind and I had to have it. I have a soft spot for that book and adjoining movie, um, which leads me to my next purchase. The 2000th issue of Life magazine with Vivian Lee and Clark Gable on the cover. It was probably the most expensive thing I bought. Uh, it was $8, uh, but I just, I needed it. <laughs> um, I picked up this cute little botanical print kind of thing for 50 cents also. I just thought that it was pretty. I'll probably cut it up and use it in a collage. I do a lot of that. I grabbed this children's book uh, about spiders. I really thought the illustrations inside were pretty. Look at this. Look at this Brian Mantis. He's reading. It's so cute. And I grabbed this old Bible. To be honest, I'm probably gonna take it apart and print things on the pages. I have been doing this kind of southern gothic thing with my art recently, and so I had some ideas for some shinkole I wanted to do with Bible pages. I grabbed this world atlas. Uh, from a place called Abilities Unlimited. It was 50 cents, I think. Um, it has really cool maps inside it, like an atlas do. And I thought that I could also use it for collage, and if it wasn't working for collage, it would make a really cool coffee table book. <laughs> the next things aren't really thrifted, so much as gifted, but they are quite old. Um, they're presents that my buddy Dave, who runs our local comic shop, gave to me. Uh, first I'll start with my favorite thing. Along with dead things, I collect tarot cards, and he gave me this beautiful set of Vertigo tarot cards. Uh, they, they come with this full-sized book, and I'll take them out and show you some of them. He said that they had been sitting on his shelf for years and he wasn't going to use them and he learned how much I love tarot cards and thought that they would be of use to me. They come in this neat little black velvet bag. La 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 la. Untying things is not my strong suit. Here's what they look like on the front. Kind of a, a variety of things, and then this is what it looks like on the back. And the last thing, but certainly not least, also from Dave. Since it no longer fits him, he gave me this nifty shirt of death from Sandman. Um, I might cut it and make it a little bit more form-fitting for someone my size, because Dave is quite tall. 
But aside from that, uh, I kind of love it.